Yo, yo, today I'm going to be making a Damascus blade replacement for my Leatherman. I made up the piece of Damascus that I'm going to be cutting this out of a few months ago. I think it has about 80 layers in it. It was a while ago. I don't remember exactly, but it is way more fun than the original blade. They already come with a pretty good blade in them, so it's not going to perform that much better, but it's a lot more fun. So let's get this bread. So these go together by a pin going through every single tool on the side. So I need to be super careful to only take out the blade because as soon as these start flopping around and going everywhere, it's a nightmare to get back together. So that's the blade out and try to keep everything where it's supposed to be and don't touch it. I don't really know what I'm expecting this to do uh, maybe like that. I think that'll help. <laughs> that's not doing anything. Uh, yeah, that's great. Yep. Okay. And now with the blade clamped on, I'm going to scribe around the entire thing. And since I put that blue stuff on, I'm gonna be able to see the line very well. And I'll have a very accurate line to grind everything to. Honestly, I might drill the hole right now. Yeah, I'm gonna drill the hole right now. And now, now we have a pretty good outline, a really good outline. So, let's cut this bad boy out. So this thing is close to size and cleaned up a bit. I still have plenty of room because I do need to heat treat this, but before I heat treat it, I do need to grind or I do need to cut in this slot. And I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet, but I know I do need to mark it out. So I'm gonna put some of this blue stuff on again and scribe that slot and, and mark that slot out onto this steel. Yep, that was a sentence. So I figured out how I'm gonna cut out this slot. I got the blade glued down onto this cute little XY table. It has some um, cute little handles I can spin to move it around. It's adorable. So with this, I can drill out as many holes as I can fit to make this slot. And then I'll connect all the holes very carefully with something. I don't know with what yet, but I can drill out these holes now. I think I got an idea. I'm gonna try using this thing that is made for the Dremel, but it, it should be able to cut sideways and connect these holes. Oh, that went terribly. I think I'll try just by hand with the Dremel, like use this thing how it was intended. That sounds like a good idea.
Now that I have this blade hardened and tempered, I can give you a quick rundown on what I'm gonna be doing next. I'm gonna be flattening off these faces. I'll start with 120 grit on the belt grinder, bring this down to its final thickness, which is around 0.11 inches. And then I'll bring it up to 220 grit. my blue stuff <laughs> oh my god how am I even supposed to clean this up uh, I, I, uh, <laughs> that's as good as that's gonna get Okay, let's see how close this is to fitting right now. That sounds very unenthusiastic. Oh boy, I can't wait to see. Is this gonna fit? Who knows? That feels pretty good, but super close. Okay, so this thing has been in and out of here quite a few times, just making the tiniest adjustments and then retest fitting it. But for now, it is plenty close enough to start grinding these bevels. Then after the bevels are ground, we can hand sand it to get it to its final finish and then etch it to bring out the pattern in the Damascus. It should be looking beautiful. This was a very challenging knife to grind. Everything is so small on this. Every tiny move you make is exaggerated. Yeah, this was challenging, but it was fun. Um, I have to put vice grips on it just to hold on to it, but I'm glad that I'm done. Now it's just hand sanding, which I honestly forgot about because that's not gonna be as fun. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I'm gonna put it off a bit. I'll just do it tomorrow. This is such a stupid bit. Now that the blade is at its final finish, all that's left to do is etching the blade to bring out the Damascus, coffee etching for some nice, nice contrast. Then after some sharpening, we are finished with this thing. So this is actually my third attempt at this. I don't like how the Damascus came out on this one and there's no way to like open it. This one has a lot of problems. And this one, to be honest, I'll probably make another one in a few months, but for now, I'm happy with it. I made this Damascus a while ago, so I kind of forgot what I did. It's inconsistent, but it's 
it's cool and it closes look at that oh my god i can put it back in my pocket and leave bye